We worked in previous chapters with smart layers as a non-destructive solution, but let's get a bit deeper in smart layers. First of all, I want to make some guides with vanishing points. So go to filter menu, vanishing point, and define your points. Okay, allow me to create a new layer, filter, vanishing point, and render it. Click on flyout menu and render grids to Photoshop. Okay. Again, if you need your grids be more visible, hold on the Alt or Option key and use arrow keys to make duplicate layers. And press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Still, you could change the colors. Press Ctrl or Command U and simply change any color you like. For example, I think this color it is much more visible. Okay. And I have a tileable window and wall of building here. I drag it directly into my document. Right click, convert it to smart object. And I will clone it three more times to expand it. Hold on the Alt or Option key with Shift and drag it. All right. Select both layer, Alt and Shift, drag. All right. And note that. If I select all four smart layers, still you could make smart layers from smart layers. It is great option. Right click and convert it to smart object again. Now I could make it a bit transparent. Move it any side you like, something like that. Control or command T. Hold on the control or command and start match points. However, as I introduced in first video, you could use Perspective Transform too. It is a very simple and useful tool. I think our guide should be a bit more accurate, something like that. Hold on the Control or Command key and the last one. I guess it is here. All right. If it is stretched, nothing to worry. It is a smart layer. Simply expand it and if you need to remove, as you know, you could use simply mask tool. I'm saying, okay, it is fine. Actually, when you're using this technique with a smart layer and then transforming to the perspective angle, you could simply replace with any informations later on. Simply double click on this icon of your smart layer. As you see, we have both R for a smart layer. And you could replace it. Just as an example, I enable type tool, maybe red color, and start type something. Okay, lorem ipsum isn't fine. I make it larger. And simply press Ctrl or Command S to save it. And if you go back to your project, as you see, it is applied with perspective angle on your building. It is awesome, right? And even I could replace with any other information. For example, we have another tileable windows and walls. Press Ctrl or Command A, Ctrl C. That is my expanded layer. Still, I could close it and reopen it. Nothing to worry. I will delete this text layer and even these four informations. And I could replace with any information I like. I could continue repeating or just resize them to make it larger. Okay. Simply press Ctrl or Command S to save and close it. You see, it is replaced simply with your previous informations. And because it is a smart layer, if I duplicate it, as I mentioned before, we have a new feature on Photoshop 2021. If you right click, now we have reset transform. You could simply reset transform. It is getting back to original deformation. And now I will add for other side. Control or command T. And start matching any regions you like. Maybe somewhere like that. You could zoom out. Hold on the control key. Grab the edge. All right. Control and this point. 
and as you see this side it is stretched too much but nothing to worry you could edit that on a smart layer or just simply expand it without control key of course maybe something like that and use polygonal lasso select any extra information you don't like hold on the alter option key and make inverted mask you see it is very simple and very useful